Hey, how's it going? So, if you've watched the channel before, you may remember I've done some videos in the past shaking a stick at the idea that Mance Raider is actually fake or not real, but rather the secret identity concealing a different character in the book series, most notably either Arthur Dane or Prince Rhaegar, though I have heard others like Oswald Wint. I've even heard Benjen Stark, which that makes no sense. So in my time analyzing these ideas, I've kind of come across two different topics I'd like to bring up. One is that people are pretty diehard invested in this stuff. Like, it seems to be something that people independently theorize a lot about themselves. And it also seems to be something that people are pretty adamant about on the internet. Like, I have received huge, huge amounts of text blocks attempting to clarify and justify this position. Now, I've always found these counter-arguments or arguments to be heavily flawed, and to me they never seem to be up to scratch. And while that's very fascinating, I think I may have actually stumbled upon the reason why people are both so invested in these things, and also why they never seem to make any real sense. So I invite you to go with me down a brief rabbit hole as I explain how this rabbit hole is actually a different rabbit hole in disguise. So what do I mean? Well, have you noticed that in every argument, and I do mean every iteration, every version, of the Mance Raider isn't actually Mance Raider, but he's actually somebody else theory, somehow it always comes back around to John's parentage? That Mance is always somehow going to be involved in queuing in John to his parentage, carrying out some aspect of the promise or some future destinied prophecy thing, I mean, keep in mind that one version of this little story is that Mance is just John's father, Rhaegar, in disguise, waiting to tell him that he's his son. I mean, just generally, John is a very key part of this whole Mance Raider is or isn't debate. Now, looking at a lot of this stuff, it's probably tempting to write it off as a Lord Blackwood's cloak. Lord Blackwood's cloak basically meaning a meaningless snippet character or element like a cloak brought up once or twice in the story that has no long-term impact, but that is highly focused on by fans. And this is pretty easy because Arthur Dane is almost functionally a non-character. He's exclusively brought up in memory, and there seems to be no reason to think he'll have an impact on the plot going forward. He's a fun world-building element, like Lord Blackwood's cloak. And the same thing could be said for Oswald Went, and even to a degree for Prince Rhaegar, because while he is important in the story, He's not present or important physically. But to me this falls a little bit short, because it seems like there's not just a desire to inject Dane or Wint back into the story where there's no need for them. It's not just that we'd like some more time with Lord Blackwood's cloak because it's cool. Again, as previously mentioned, these Mance Raider is actually theories all gravitate back towards John's parentage. The element of Mance Raider actually being something else isn't the reveal. The reveal is that Mance Raider actually being someone else is going to tell you who John's parents actually are, usually who his father actually is. So basically, all of these arguments, all of these interesting crazy theories about Mance Raider not really being Mance Raider, are just elaborate ways for us to continue having the John's parentage equation debate, but in a different setting. And this is why, in my opinion, they always come off so fanficish, and they're always so contradictory to what we see in the books. And that's why it doesn't really matter if any of the evidence is provable or unprovable or if it makes any sense or not, and it doesn't really matter if one aspect of the evidence or case is disproven, or if all aspects of the evidence or case is disproven, because none of that really touches on the issue that's being argued about. And I find this all quite fascinating. We've invented stories to justify theories, and we now argue for those stories as though evidence can be derived within the books to prove them. It is quite interesting. Now again, none of this makes any sense, but it doesn't have to because we're not actually arguing about that. We're arguing about that thing that everybody was originally arguing about, which is who's John's daddy? 
And of course, this is all absurd. Because as we all know, R plus L equals D, and Mance Raider is ALF from the hit TV show ALF. Case closed. And so that's really all I wanted to talk about today, just how fascinating this little situation is. It really is quite interesting to see that since 1996, when this book dropped, we've been having the same arguments about it, and those arguments have even mutated into stories that are having those same arguments, even though those stories exist completely outside the text. That's gotta be some kind of authorial accomplishment on its own, right? Props to George. And so I hope you guys found this one interesting. It's a very short one, and I know my videos recently have been very short. I hope to get into something longer pretty soon here. Just the grind has been real on more serious projects. But we do have topics such as cats, the blackfish, and the various theories around the wall coming up, so we'll be looking at those in the following months. And so I just want to thank you all again for being so patient. And with that, I'd like to give a quick shout out to everybody who's been helping out on Patreon. It helps you pay for cat food. That's super cool, and I can't thank you enough. As always, we have Hawk, Deter LaCroix, and the Interesting Nerd Club. But we also got two new members recently. We have Chables and Miranda. So thank you so much, everybody, again. And of course, thank you to everyone who's watching the videos, just putting in the time to check them out and give me your feedback or give me a like or whatever. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.